Coming up in this video, I'm gonna be installing this DIY POW 100 amp hour golf cart battery into my golf cart. So it's gonna be a pretty simple hookup for me. All I have to do is connect the positive and negative right to the cart and that is it. Installation is done. And that fits perfect. So in the battery carriage of my cart, I have this frame in here and I have a center piece here that kind of holds the batteries. So I could actually fit two of these. If I relocated my charger, I could get a second one in here, but 200 amp hours is a little bit overkill. Okay, we are ready to take a ride. So you can see on the app there, we are 97%. We have an incline here in front of us. So let's try stopping the cart. And then we're going to accelerate. I'm gonna to go to this screen here. If we have any warnings, you can see it says standby. Now we're discharging. So let's just drop the gas down as hard as I can. Oh, and we just had a overcurrent when discharging. So the cart actually just shut down, the BMS shut off because we had a bit of an incline. Okay, it looks like the lights are back on now and we're back in business. So as far as a heavy acceleration, it's not the greatest. Here we have another hill in front of us and take off and we just disconnected again okay so we had another overcurrent when discharging event so i'm going to wait a couple minutes and hopefully the cart will come back on there we go oh no just disconnected again wait a couple minutes come on Okay, the lights are back on. Let's wait a second. And we're back off again. Try and push the cart so that the regen, regenerative braking maybe might make it go. Nope, just clicked off again. And still waiting for this to re-engage. It doesn't seem to be happy right now. Okay, the lights are back on. And no, nope, we're off again. So right now it's in protection mode. Still wait, oh, lights are back on. No, nope. off again. So the BMS is not allowing me to do anything. Okay, we're back on now. And off again. So this is uh, rather annoying. Okay, the lights are back on. And disconnected again. So all my wires are good, everything's good. But as soon as that uh, solenoid goes to clamp shut, cart disconnects. Now I'm gonna wait a minute and see if maybe that uh, overcurrent when discharging will stop. Okay, let's try it now. Nope, clicked off again. Okay, we're back on. Oh, there we go. Finally, that was like a good five minutes. So right now on flat ground, it seems to be fine. Stick on the ground. So right now on flat ground, it's okay. Okay, we'll take 
take off. Okay, now we're back at the same hill. Now let's see what happens if I slowly creep up the hill and don't just try and hammer it. Okay, no problem. Go back over to this bigger hill over here. Okay, now let's slowly go up. Okay, not bad. Now let's hammer it down. Oh, we're still good. Okay, it worked. So with the DIY POW battery, as you can see, it did not do so great going up a hill, full power, hammering down on the throttle. So I'm going to classify this battery as more of a light duty battery. This is not something that you're going to use on an aftermarket cart like this, where you're going to be hammering it down going up hills and on straightaways. Now, if you live in like a small community where you have carts that you can legally drive on the road and you're on a flat road, very little resistance to the ground, to the wheels, this battery will work great for you. But unfortunately, if you're like me and you want the speed and you want the agi agility to be able to climb hills super fast, then this battery might not be for you. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're deciding to take a look at this battery is that it can run the cart um, but if you've got lift kit, aftermarket tires, things of that nature, this might not be for you, but it did work. Uh, it did get me around. If I was to be a little bit more careful, maybe climbing hills, like just approaching and going up them slowly and kind of going on the throttle, uh, very lightly going up hills, I'd have no problem. So yeah, this is the DIY POW 48 volt, 100 amp hour battery. I'll leave links in the description below. Check them out and let me know what you think.